one of my ongoing projects has been to develop a, a very portable backstop for our slingshot uh, hobby. <laughs> and uh, I started some time ago working with canvas and I have now graduated over to uh, working with uh, Sunbrella, which is a product used for making awnings and marine coverings such as bimini's and uh, sail covers and things of that nature in the marine industry. Um, this particular model uh, I designed and took it over to a local upholstery shop and uh, the lady that works there uh, stitched it up uh, to the uh, dimensions that I wanted and you can see the wind is blowing pretty good today and uh, the the backstop is very very stable it, it's moving a little bit but not very much uh, I started to call this my uh, uh, my uh, slingshot uh, sail but uh, that really isn't going to be a name that will stick I don't believe we'll just go with backstop for now I'm using a one and a half inch dowel uh, that has been cut to 48 inches uh, they come in eight foot lengths and uh, I bought this one at a local hardware store for eight dollars and fifty cents so uh, two of them uh, uh, four and a quarter a piece the uh, the drop material uh, in the center behind the can behind the the target itself is a doubled over piece of 10 ounce uh, canvas white canvas uh, as you can see uh, we have a, a fastener at the front uh, that attaches to a D-ring that's sewn in. It has a, about a six or eight inch uh, stop gap closure sewn into the front and then sewn down the seam. It's very, very simple. It's just a matter of folding the, the <coughs> pardon me. It's just a matter of folding the, uh, the bottom seam uh, together and sewing it together. I did have her uh, put nice hems all the way around it so that it doesn't come unraveled and, and frazzled. And uh, as you can see, we have attachments for both the, uh, the line that attaches the, the target and the backstop. On the particular uh, backstop itself, the way I have this designed is that it is designed so that uh, there is a, a pull tab in the back that pulls out and creates an envelope uh, so that the uh, the drop cloth inside doesn't rest against the back. The problem I was having before with previous models is that uh, more than half of the uh, steel balls when shot uh, would catapult back out uh, of the, uh, the backstop so it was not being as effective. Um, this morning or this afternoon rather in trying uh, this one out, I only had one steel ball that uh, that bounced back out of the of the uh, backstop, and it was because it it hit the steel uh, hook that I hang my uh, can on. It has an attachment at the lower edge at the rear, also attached with a D-ring. This is attached with a D-ring, and this has a little more bounce to it. I'm using a small bungee cord. Uh, for the attachment there. Overall, it's very, very light. Uh, it can be rolled up on the stick and, uh, and put in your car and taken with you anywhere you want to go. In terms of the backdrop, uh, I have uh, a, a piece of latex material that has been sewn to the back section. This is doubled. And so the front section is light. The back section has the extra heavy rubber uh, attached into it or sewn into it and uh, so together they absorb the energy and, and of course now it has additional room behind the, uh, the drop cloth so that uh, it has room to, uh, to flex and to therefore dissipate that energy uh, when the ball hits it. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with this. This is going to be a, a, a great little thing that uh, a lot of people would probably like to use. You can make one of these yourself, uh, but the lady that made this for me has given me permission to post her information uh, in the Slingshot forum, and so we, we're going to do that. And she is very reasonable in her prices, and so we're going to give you some other information on this uh, that you can read uh, in the 
the slingshot for them in regards to how you can purchase one of these if you so desire. It doesn't take that long, just a couple of days. She's not going to make these up in advance. She will make them to order and so uh, unless things get real busy for her and so uh, we'll let you uh, make that call and uh, see what you think. But this is it and uh, it looks real good. I'm real pleased with it and we're going to give it a couple of shots here. I'm going to pass this off to my camera handler. That's the easy part, retrieval. <laughs> Come around and stand behind and face them. Come on right, yeah, there you go. Get behind me so you can. Thank you, and I'll cut this portion out. All right, you ready? So, uh, I don't know how many shots that was, but uh, probably 10 or 12. And we had two out of the bunch that bounced out. Come on in and focus down in here. Very effective through the can. And uh, you can see the ammo is caught very well in the bottom. Thank you very much. Thanks to the uh, to the uh, ca uh, camera person. <laughs> Speak to the hand. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you like this. And if you do like it, uh, we'll give you the information on how you can order one for yourself. Great sunbrella, sun protected, UV protected, all weather, uh, rainproof, mildew free. Uh, everything you could want in an outdoor backstop, and uh, I'm not going to make a penny off of this, so don't worry about that. This is uh, this is a good thing, and I hope a lot of you buy it. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.